there's nothing you can do. He's caused you to wilt and to wither beneath the knowledge of his, of his holiness. That's the first way to know if you're a child of God, is that he has caused you to fear. He's caused you to realize and to understand the gravity, the depth of your sin and his holiness and how he will punish your sin. The second thing that we know, the second evidence that you're a child of God is that he has revealed to you his belief against that state in which you live, that holiness in your sin. And that only relief is through Jesus Christ. If you're a child of God, that God has shown you your sin and he's called on you to call out for relief from Jesus Christ. He's shown you that you must call out but you cannot do that. You might assuage your guilt, assuage your sin, so that you cannot purchase heaven through your good deeds or through going to church in no time, reading the Bible, helping old ladies across the street, etc. But God has caused you to realize that you must have a much greater answer to your sin problem. That's the second sign that you are a child of God. The third that you're a child of God, not a child of the devil, the is that you that have a changed lifestyle. Rough. You see, God has now given you a new heart. That's part of being a child of God, is that he adopts you. And when God adopts you, that you want to you into his family as a new heart. Not a physical, deep, deep heart, but a new soul, a new person, a new thing that drives you. Oh, you're a changed person. So no longer are you filled with rebellion against God, but now you have a desire to follow after God, a love for God, an understanding of your sin and of his mercy. And that part of that new heart that a person gets is a new lifestyle, a new way of acting. So not only are you no longer rebelling against God, you're no longer cursing God, you're no longer saying, I don't need God, I'm walking along with arrogance and rebellion and so forth, but now you're saying, I do need God. And also the way that you act. Now I mentioned that I'm not concerned with telling you to stop drinking or stop using drugs or stop gambling or stop recording. I'm not interested in telling you to stop doing that. Leave the misery 
behind. 